All right, is your washer making a lot of noise when it's spinning? Uh, this is a Maytag Epic, I believe. And let's go ahead and look at the model number. Model number, there it is. So it's MFW, is that 9600 TG, TQ0? Yes, so that's the model number. And um, when it spins, uh, it makes a lot of noise. So we took the cover off. There's two bolts, uh, one here, and they're eight millimeter, one here and one here, took the cover off. And then what the washing machine has are shock absorbers or immobilizers. Um, this is the one that I took off. And this one is, um, let's see if I can do it with this with one hand. You see how it moves up and down? That stabilizes it stabilizes it and then this one you can see it's a little harder to move because that one is brand new and so I already took them off um, the way you take them off is there's this little notch here you could get a little pick or something push that notch down and at the same time take some pliers and twist it off so just some good old-fashioned pliers and twist it off so I'm gonna do the reverse already because I was not gonna film it then I said uh, let me film it all right so here is where let's see if we can get in there so you can see it you see that's where it goes you see how that's gonna go in this way and then you're gonna turn it it's gonna lock there it locks okay now here's the reverse the one on top and you can tell that's not gonna go in I have to pull it up a little bit okay that's not gonna go in like that right so you turn it then you keep pushing it up all right once it's in you're gonna turn it until it locks and see now it's locked and you see how this is this moves and um, that's this is what immobilizes or stabilizes the two in the front you can get from just those two bolts but the two in the back which let's see if I can get the light on there you see there's one right there and then the other one is right there those two you're gonna have to take the back out and there's like eight bolts eight millimeters not hard and then you can reach those all right, so you see how much it moves right now? And that's because I have three of them in here. Here's the fourth. All right, let's get a little light in the subject. So here is that down here. Let's see if I can move my light and the phone. Okay, so you see the entrance? So here, it won't go in this way. It's gonna go in like that, right? And then we we turn it. Or the other way, and we might have to get. Yeah, some are hand, some are not. So I'm gonna need to turn turn that one with the pliers very carefully because it is. Um... Well, let's see if I can do it with. I'm not gonna be able to do this. Yeah, I have to put the phone down. It did snap in, and it did take some pliers, so let's see if I can do this one up. Same thing up here, we turn it, this time I have to pull this out, okay. Uh, you see, it went in, and I'm gonna turn it by hand, and there, it clipped. So, that's how it clipped. All right, let's back away. Now, you see how it's moving a lot less, because there's four brand new shock absorbers or immobilizers and then hopefully that'll stop it from uh you know banging and moving around especially with l l less clothes so all right i hope that helps um i'll leave a link where to get them on amazon i think uh they weren't too expensive and uh the laundry will keep getting done uh please like and subscribe every little bit helps have a great rest of your day